In just a few weeks, all regular Hayes CISD bus routes will have buses with seatbelts. This comes while the Tom Green Elementary community is still grieving from the deadly bus crash that happened almost four weeks ago. While the school district takes steps, others are too. Sam Stark explains. Nearly four weeks since the deadly bus crash that killed two. A community still rallying around those affected. We're grieving along with them. Michael Ortiz couldn't believe the news when he first heard about the bus crash. My, my heart kind of dropped into my stomach and I just felt really, I just felt really bad for the family. So he wanted to try and contribute. Saturday, he hosted an event where 100% of the proceeds went to the family of Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya, the five-year-old boy who was killed in the crash. They raised $600. I know there's a lot of outpouring of support that comes in. We're just a small piece of that puzzle, you know, but we want it to be a part of that puzzle. Another part of the puzzle includes legal action. So far, three parties have filed lawsuits against the driver of the concrete pump truck, his company, and the company's owner. Two of the lawsuits seek more than $1 million in monetary relief. And on Monday, the Hay CISD board met to discuss its plans to introduce a bus fleet fully equipped with seat belts. We uh, immediately started hearing from our community members uh, concerns about the seat belts. And so this is something that will uh, will hopefully give folks peace of mind. Hey, CISD said their buses were in compliance with state law, but given the community concern, wanted to accelerate the bus replacement cycle. We've been doing what's required, um, but we we've said that if 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 doing what's required is not enough, if there's a chance that that wasn't enough, then we want to do even more than is required. In Hayes County, Sam Stark, KXAN News. The plan the school district laid out today calls to get seat belts on all buses, quote, at the soonest possible date. By April 30th, all regular bus routes will have seat belts. The district also has other buses in its fleet. Those are not used for the daily routes, but for things like field trips and athletics or to replace other buses while some are undergoing maintenance. And the goal eventually is to have seat belts in all of those buses as well.